Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to show you my design team project for Release the Craft in for May 2022. First, I want to let you know some of the stuff that's been going on with me, why I haven't put out a video in a while. Um, I had surgery April 1st, which went wonderfully well. But when I came home three days later, I passed out and I banged my face on the heating element in my bathroom on the way down, put a big dent in it. I broke <laughs> some bones in the right side of my face, particularly the um, orbital socket that holds your eyeball in. And I've been experiencing double vision and all kinds of head trauma problems, black eyes and swelling and numbness since then. And so I can't see real well. Luckily I had my project completed before all this happened so I can film it. I don't really need to see that well to film, but you know, not to bring anybody down. I just want to let you guys know what is going on with me. I go back to the doctor on May 4th and hopefully we'll find out what is going on with my eye if they need to do a surgical intervention or whatever. So that let's get that out of the way. That is not a pleasant thing to think about, but um, otherwise I'm just fine. I'm just a little nervous about my vision and that's kind of where I am. Anyway, let me show you what I did with the kit from Release of Craft. And for this month, um, it has a unicorn theme. I don't remember the name off the top of my head and I'm filming with my phone so I can't look it up but I will put it in the description box with a link so if y'all are interested in getting it you can. Um, I made a traditional mini album this time. I haven't made a mini album in a really long time. Um, luckily I had, had it done before all this debacle happened but uh, let's take a look at it. Now it does have a unicorn theme which I really truly love. Here's my cover. Here's my spine. I did do a, um, you know, a, a tassel, but I just used some sari silk and some beads, some lace, and uh, the back is just plain. It is held together with a ribbon tie, which we will open now. And I made this a while ago, so if I forget how everything opens, bear with me. So the first thing on the inside is we have this pocket and all of the papers aside from the solid card stocks are from the kit. So these tags are part of the kit. A nice pocket here from the kit. I used a piece of paper from the kit to create this pocket. Now most of these tags are much bigger than this. I cut them down to use them as a trifold. I cut them down to use them in this particular small album. This um, envelope is the proper size. Both of these come with the kit. I did use a tutorial um, from Kona Raven, who I don't even know if she's still on um, Etsy or not, I literally bought this like 10 years ago. So um, this is not my design, this is her design. But if you wanna look for it, you can look on um, Etsy under Kona, K-O-N-A, Raven. Okay, so first thing, this unfolds and this has a place for journaling and pictures. And then that closes up like this. Sorry, I can't see real well, so my hands and things don't go together very well right now. This is a tag that comes with the kit. There's a lot of um, really pretty quotes on the tags this time, which I really like. And then this page opens like this. And there's two little pockets here, which I did not include anything in and then it's magnetically closed. So then, next page. First of all, there is a pocket up here that swings open like this, and um, has another trifold tag in it. This was made from a piece of paper from the kit. It doesn't come as a tag, but 
can make a tag on any piece of paper, frankly. And then this closes like that. And then this unties. And this flips open like that. And I don't know if I have it on camera, but there's a pocket up here as well. Hopefully everything's on camera. It's a little bit big to, um, I mean, the, the, the album itself is not gigantic. It's just that it's, it opens up in different directions, which makes it difficult to get the whole thing on camera. Sometimes they make really big mini albums, which I haven't for probably a year or so, but, um, and they're impossible. You have to put your camera up as high as it can go. And yeah, they're really hard to film. I mean, they're awesome when it comes to using them or giving them as gifts. People always get very excited when I give them these as gifts. I would say, though I like making junk journals more, people get more excited about getting the mini albums than the junk journals because they kind of know how to use them more. You know, like they, they understand, oh, you put pictures in them, your journal, whatever, like regular scrapbook. Okay, this one opens like this. And then this folds down. And then it opens another way, but I don't remember how. Oh, it opens up like this. And then there's a pocket back here. And we have some journaling cards. This is actually, I believe, a tag from the uh, kit. And this is just from a piece of paper from the kit. I printed it out so many times because you don't know how many sheets of paper you're going to need to make a mini album. So I just printed it out so many times and then whatever I had left over, I made my ephemera from. Okay, here's the next page. This opens and it has like um one of those metal closures like you see in purses. I purchased a bunch of these off of Amazon a long, long time ago. And then here's the top flap. And then there's multiple pockets in here with lots of ephemera. There's another envelope from the kit. And I didn't back my envelopes with any uh, cardstock or anything this time because when you're making a mini album, you try not to have a lot of bulk so people can add their own things to it and it still closes properly and doesn't, you know, look odd. And then this folds down. And so there's room for journaling, pictures, whatever you'd like to add there. And this closes like that. And then this is kind of a neat page. This is magnetic. It holds the page closed, but it is also a little booklet if you want to add something inside. Then this opens like this, and then this opens like this. So I don't know how well I'm showing this on camera, but it opens this way, and it opens that way, and then it closes like this. And then that sticks on there. And then this whole flap folds down. And you have, you see, more room. So that's that page. And then on the other side of that page, I have this little decoration keeping this closed. It's magnetic. Um, I, I needed to cover the magnet, so I used a sticker. Um, I should have covered, I should have put the magnet down before I put the paper down, but I did not. This is a pocket. It has a little tag in it. Sorry, I'm having difficulty seeing, so it's hard for me to figure out where the things go back in without using my hands. Bear with me. I'll try to make it quick. Oh dear. There's two of everything. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's in. And then these flaps come down. And again, oh, this one's a pocket also, you see? And that's just a tag I made from some paper from the kit. And then this folds down. And then you can close these back up and then this opens like this. 
and you have a pocket here and a pocket here. That closes and then this keeps that closed. Okay. This opens like this. And I don't know how my lighting situation is. Again, I can't see real well, so I'm not sure how I'm doing with that, but I'm hoping everything is visible. These open this way. And then there's a large place inside for pictures or journaling. And then it opens up. And there's, I hope I'm on camera. There's some journaling cards in the pocket up here and though these are actually like separate in the kit I didn't just create those and then I just made this tag there's some very beautiful imagery like if, if you know anybody who loves unicorns this is the paper this is the kit for them okay God, I hope I'm on camera for all this. And then this page, which is really difficult for me to open with my eyes, but um, these flowers are swing tabs and they swing out. And then this page opens up and then you have all this inside. So again, um, it's really hard for me to do with my eyes. So I may have to go back and close this properly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping to find out something so that I know how um, you know, how things are going to be. Um, and here is the next page. Like I said, thank goodness I had this all done. It has swing tabs up here. It has a pocket with a journaling tag down here. And this opens like this gives you a little more room and then it closes back up with the swing tabs and then the whole thing opens up like this and then this panel flaps over like this so you have additional room inside and that's back and then here is the final back page and the way this works is you slide the button all the way out to the end and then these flaps open up and then this is where um, you would place any ephemera that you wish to gift with your mini album or any photographs that that someone wants to save and not cut these are all part of the ephemera from the kit And then this all tucks. Oops, I did that wrong. This all tucks back in here. And then you take the button and you pull the two strings. And then you center the button. And then you just tie a bow. that is that and then I just put a pocket on the back for another tag and the last envelope from the kit and that is my design team project for release the craft in for May and I apologize in advance because I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the kit but I will definitely put everything in the description box and a link to it and let me know what you think. Um, I generally do junk journals, but I really enjoyed making this and um, people are usually very excited about mini albums. So um, I hope you all are having a good week. I hope things are going well for you. I will let y'all know what's going on with my eye. Um, next video if nobody was interested in my personal information about my health I'm sorry to have bored you um, but some people do watch frequently and 
I feel like they're my friends and I wanted them to know what was going on. Anyway, I hope you guys are safe and happy and are having a good week, month, day, whatever. <laughs> and um, just asking you to be kind to each other. Be safe. Love you guys. Bye.